Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, buenos dias. I have the great pleasure of speaking to you about Interpol Global Register on this occasion. The Interpol Global Register, or IGR as we call it, is now in the process of the technical development and expected to be operational early this year. So today's my speech is focusing on the background of the Interpol Global Register and its functions. The trade, whether national or international, has been a common thread throughout the human history. The power of trade and the dollars is placed in our daily lives is embodied just nine kilometers away by Panama Canal. Unfortunately, where there is a trade, there is a easy trade. The, today, the estimated cost of the illicit trade to the global economy is between 1 and 2 trillion US dollars. While many individuals may, may think that buying a, a knock of bank at the local market so can cause, cannot cause any harm, the impact is a trade and the main source of the funding for many criminal and terrorist organizations. Generating 2.1 trillion US dollars, which represents actually 7%, 7 percent, 7 percent of the total value of the world's merchandise according to the WTO. This trade is capable of rapidly adapting to the market conditions and cut across national boundaries before largely anticipated product launch such as a new model of the iPhone, market are seeded with counterfeit product weeks in advance. Genuine yet illicitly traded item will soon follow. The sheer adaptability and complexity of this market means that it is inherently challenging to fight. Initiative and the technical solutions developed by the countries regions and industries remain highly fragmented and even be product specific. The challenge is therefore the lack of interoperability among various technical solutions in the fight against this trade, which is in fact the challenge that Interpol will seek to overcome. Earlier this year, Interpol Secretary the General Mr. Noble had an idea. Familiar with the complexity of the illicit trade from his time as Under Secretary of the Treasury of the United States, he believes that to effectively fight against illicit trade, one must empower everyone, law enforcement, distributors, private industry, and the general public. With this idea in mind, Interpol decided to create the Interpol Global Register, or IGR. The IGR will be a gateway to existing verification solutions, giving access to the information on the product that have been registered and made accessible by the product like holders. Through one single channel of information, users of IGR will be able to access appropriate product information such as images and the descriptions of security solutions to help them identify whether the product is illicit. The details of the information provided on the term will be determined by user's profile. For law enforcement, the IGR will be intuitive and ubiquitous tool that will help officers on the street distract the networks involved in the trafficking of illicit goods through the identification of the goods themselves or the trafficking trends identified by the IGR as a users. What is more, IGR will be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, meaning users will be able to receive information when uh, they need when they need it. 
the address of their geographical, their location, and time zone. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time to go into the depths of the uh, system architecture of the Interpol Global Register. However, you can find information in the Interpol Global Register brochures, which are available in the hard copies of uh, next room, which is the exhibition room, uh, both in English and in Spanish, just like this. And also, the same information can be downloaded on the Interpol public website. Mobile application design. Okay. The IGL will be accessible through mobile application as well as web application. Users will simply to scan the product, a product barcode, or enter appropriate information, which is usually other numerical information, or the product registered in the IGL. The application will be designed to be compatible with all of the major mobile operating systems, Apple, BlackBerry, Windows, and Android, to ensure that maximum of users are in a position to benefit from the IGL. The users will be instructed on how to identify the correct information to be entered into the verification field on the product or its packaging. At this point, one of two responses will be given. One, your product could not be verified. It's a negative. Another one, your product has been verified. Positive response. In this case, by one of the IGL hardware companies, Palm Security. More information about the product, including images and the descriptions, the details of the visible security features, and associated news and the lab would also be available to certain users. We believe that the IGR will have a significant impact on instant trade, improving the frequency of its detection. We also believe that it will accrue significant benefit for the variety of stakeholders. For consumers, IGL will heighten the awareness of its trade and potentially prevent their use of its product. Overall, the IGL will improve the safety of consumers, whether by identifying potentially dangerous items before they are used, or more globally, by cutting off principal funding source of criminal organizations. For industries or light bulbs, where there is a significant national and international regulations regarding illicit trade, the IGL will in many cases allow right holders to duly comply with their obligations while offering global, cost industry, and cost efficient method to counter illicit trade on their product. And just outside the benefit, or the sum of benefit that we have identified for the consumers and the right holders, but I have not yet touched upon the potential benefit for law enforcement. The IGR will provide us law enforcement with high impact tool that can disrupt the funding of criminal networks, thus having no effect in areas of crime that do not have seemingly have the direct connection with the uh, easy trade. I'd like to stress once again that IGR will have a significant impact on easy trade in terms of its prevention, detection, investigation, and prosecutions. Thank you for your attention. My colleague Eugene So and I will be available to talk to you if you have any questions. Thank you.